Unfortunately, I didn't have the best academic year there, nor the experience, so I decided to retake the year. I was able to retake at B6 here with the intent to get good grades and to go to a great university, and that's what's happened. The subjects that I wanted to do, not a lot of colleges did all of the subjects, so um, I ended up applying to B6 because it was one of the few in London that actually did it. My secondary school sixth form, I didn't get the, the math requirements, so they offered me a BTEC, but I really wanted to do A-level government politics and A-level history. So B6 gave me the opportunity saying, OK, you can retake maths and will allow you to do your A-levels. I went to an academy and I really found it very unhelpful. I, did, I got about three GCSEs and maths wasn't one of them. <laughs> your grades the first time round are generally not contextualised and I think um, if you contextualise uh, grades there, there can be real solid reasons for someone not to um, achieve a certain grade. B6 takes that into account and looks at all the different pieces and not just the grades at the end. I have a condition called APD and it affects um, how your brain uh, functions, it like makes you much slower at learning and, and re remembering things. And um, I found like, that I got no support for that. But um, I came to B6 to retake my maths GCSE and I ended up staying here for A-levels. But I found it um, much more helpful, especially with supporting for my um, disability and um, extra time in the exams and support from teachers. Much more helpful than my previous school. One thing I didn't realise is how amazing the teachers would be here. Um, I've been able to be taught on a one-to-one -one level where my independence as a learner has been completely evoked and I'm able to think more academically, more critically. The thing I love about this college is that they have a lot of extracurricular activities that are very unique, such as the opportunity to have summer schools at Oxford, at York. Extension programmes with top of the tier universities like UCL. Oxford and Cambridge. A lot of language clubs, a lot of politics clubs, which is not something you usually find. The teachers specialise in teaching us A level as opposed to teaching us A level and then also doing GCSE and then like key stage three, key stage two. So then it means that they are focusing on teaching high level education, which is what we need, um, which I think helps get us better results. I definitely needed students like who were like-minded to myself and who are at a similar age and came from a similar background. And I wouldn't have got that if I went to a institution that catered for secondary school students and sixth form students. I remember when I was in my previous school, they, it's like they only catered to a certain kind of person, helping people who were getting A's to get A stars, but they weren't helping people who were getting D's to get C's. I remember we were doing work experience and they, they would assign it for you. They put like all the people that are getting good grades into there and they put the rest of us into like cleaners. Once you contextualise grades and past academic um, performances, I think you find yourself um, in a more diverse classroom with, with experiences that, that, that vary. You just have different people from different backgrounds that, that can offer different things to education. In B6 I expanded my interest, my love for history and I developed a new interest for politics. I feel more confident, I feel more open, whereas I felt only like that with just, I guess, the group of people I was in on my table, whereas I feel like I can openly discuss things in my history lessons, in my politics lessons.
I came from getting really bad grades in my old school to I got quite good GCSEs. I ended up getting a B in maths and I was really proud of that. Um, and I'm doing my um, A levels now and I got uh, an A in politics. I'm very happy about that. There was a cap created because I didn't have GCSE maths, but B6 allowed me to overcome that barrier. And the first time around I, um, I failed. And the second time around I got a B, which was in two months. It's an indication of the quality of teaching here. Colleges like B6, I think, you will get um, students such as myself that, that are now aspiring to go to Oxford University, whereas before would have been, um, would have been capped at GCSE Maths. I was originally predicted to get DDD at my last college instead of two A stars and an A that I ended up getting here. I've achieved what I would consider really great grades and now I'm off to the University of Cambridge. It doesn't really make sense in the long term to think about merging or to think about cutting colleges. It's just going to lead to a weaker workforce which isn't going to be better for the economy. Our quality of education wouldn't be as good so when we're going to the, into the workplace we wouldn't be as equipped with the skills that we need and we wouldn't be able to compete as effectively with other countries who are already miles ahead of us. It would just draw us back further. You'll find students here that, that are very capable if nurtured in the correct um, way and I think B6 and other institutions like this nurture um, students that otherwise would have been would have been um, uh, capped. A lot of um, students that come to colleges like this um, are more working class and they get a wonderful education um, and they will miss out on having such a good education that a lot of a lot of MPs who are making the choice they, they weren't in the same position as us and um, they got education which was often privately paid for so I don't think they truly understand what it's like to be in this position and I don't think they're truly able to actually value and appreciate um, sixth form colleges and how good they are because they haven't really, most of them haven't really experienced it themselves. To live in a democracy which apparently we do live in, um, I think that our comments from this school have to be taken on board and I think that sixth forms need to be allocated and remain the way they are because we're seeing an increase in students performing academically well and academically brilliant. To take that away, I think will tarnish society's progression.